Hi everybody, it's Andrea Tooley from andreatooley.com and I'm back with you today for another Email Monday where I answer readers' questions and uh, kind of talk to you guys about whatever it is you want to email me about. <clears throat> So uh, kind of as always, before we get started, don't forget to check out my blog, andreatooley.com. Uh, now that I've started residency in ophthalmology and finished my internal medicine year, I'm not going to be blogging as much just because I'm really focused on studying for optho and learning as much as I can. But I'm still really active on my Instagram, which is at a doctor in the house. Uh, you can always reach out to me on Twitter, which is doctor in the house. Um, and then emails as well. And lastly, I have options to Skype if you really want to talk. You can find all that information on my blog, andreatulli.com slash contact. So let's get started. Today's email, I've got it right here on my computer, um, is from Irina. Uh, so I'll just read it for you here. Dear Andrea, I hope you're doing well. I'm a huge fan of your website as well as your YouTube channel. Thank you, Irina. That is so nice. Your posts and videos have helped me tremendously throughout my college journey. So glad. I'm a pre-dental student and I am 12 days, uh, and in 12 days, I will have my first dental school interview. I was wondering if you could offer me any tips. I really value your opinion and very much appreciate your input. Were you nervous during your interview? I got an email from the school today and have spent all day thinking about it. I'm worried my nerves will let me down during the actual interview. Thank you in advance. All right, so that's a great email, tons of great questions. So I thought that it would be good to just kind of talk about um, my experience with interviews uh, and just some general interview tips that I have. And I think that this would even be a really good video to do as an interview with another resident or another medical student. And so I'll work on that for you guys. But in the meantime, here's kind of my interview tips for any of you guys uh, interviewing for things starting in the fall, in medical school, dental school whatever. So um, I think first is we'll talk about kind of preparation for the interview. So one is uh, to prepare for where you're going to interview. So look up the place, look at the website, look at anything that stands out about that institution because they're going to ask you why are you interested in this university or this institution. And so if you're able to say, oh, I really love your curriculum, or I love the way that you guys do X, Y, and Z, it'll show that you're interested in them, and they want to know that you're interested in them just as much as you want to feel like they're interested in you. And so if you can kind of show them that you have researched their school and you know what they're all about, that will make you stand out from someone else who just says like, oh, you're close to home, or I applied everywhere, or whatever. So one is research where you're going to apply. I know for IU, Indiana University, where I went to medical school, they have these um, core competencies and they always ask uh, interviewees about these core competencies. And so it was a big tip to like look those up beforehand and know what they were. Uh, so that if they asked you, what's your favorite one, you could say, oh, lifelong learning or you know, whatever. Uh, so definitely research where you're interviewing. The second is to research who you're interviewing with, if you can. So for medical school, I had no idea who I would be speaking with for my medical school interview. But for residency, you can um, be assured that you'll be interviewing with the program director and the department chair. So those two people are people that you will most likely interact with during the interview. So if you can look up and see where they went to college, or um, where they did their studies after college, or what their research is in, anything like that. Again, it's the same thing. It's going to show them that they're in that you are interested in them. So if you can say, "Oh, I saw that you went to college in St. Louis. I grew up in St. Louis," then you automatically have a connection with this person. It makes them remember you more, and it automatically just kind of makes you rank higher in their list because they've connected with you on a different level. Uh, or if you can say, I was looking at some of the research that you've done, and I think um, the glaucoma work that you've done is fascinating, and I'm really interested in that as well. What opportunities are there for residents? Anything like that is going to um, really help you stand out. And same thing for medical school or dental school interviews. You can say, oh, I see that you uh, did a fellowship in this area, what made you interested in that, anything just so that they know that you looked them up 
uh, not in a creepy way, just in a you're interested kind of way. So research where you're going, research who you're going to speak with if you can, and um, those are some good ways to kind of prepare for the place that you're going to be interviewing. The next thing you need to do is personally prepare. So there are a few questions that you will 100% be asked. If you are applying to medical school, you will 100% be asked, why do you want to be a doctor? Why do you want to go to medical school? And so you need to have a set strong answer for that question. You can't say, oh, why do I, let's see, why do I want to be a doctor? Ooh, that's a good one. You know, you really need to say, I want to be a doctor because of this experience, which made me learn this about myself. And then I did all this shadowing and realized that medicine is for me. And that is 100% what I want to do with my life. You know, whatever, whatever. If you have a kind of a strong answer that is also a specific answer, then that makes it even stronger than saying, I want to help people, you know? So same thing with dentistry. Uh, Irina, you're applying to dental school. Uh, I did an interview with a dental student um, or a dentist. He's now an orthodontics uh, resident. And so you can check that out. But he had very specific answers about why he was interested in dentistry. Continuity of care, interacting with the community, um, kind of helping people on, on a personal level all kinds of things. So know the answer to that question. Um, and then other things, anything that's on your application, anything on your resume, any volunteer work you did, any research you did, um, literally anything that you write on that application is fair game for them to ask you about. So if you wrote, I was in Mortarboard Honor Society and we went to this conference and they say, tell me about Mortarboard. You can't think, Oh, um, let's see, mortarboard, what, what was that? When did I do that? You know, you need to know everything that's on your application so that you're not surprised by anything. So know kind of little short things, what you want to say uh, to describe all of those kind of activities on your application you want to know about. Other specific questions that you'll be asked um, are things that don't show up on your application. So you probably want to have a good idea of some things that you can mention that aren't on your application. So they'll say, tell me about yourself. Tell me something interesting about you. Tell me something that other people don't know. Uh, something like that. So my, my go-to, um, if they said, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself, tell me something that's not on your application, I'd say, oh, I really like to cook. Um, or I really like yoga or things like that. I really love Shakespeare. He's like my favorite ever, which is true. Um, and then expect them to ask you about this. So I made a video about my first residency interview. Uh, someone asked me, what would you do on your weekend day off? And I said, I'd probably cook. And he said, what would you cook? If you could share a recipe with me, what would that recipe be? And so I needed to kind of have something that I could just automatically tell him um, and to look prepared. So whatever you think you're going to answer, I really like to kayak, or I like to skydive, or I like to play piano, then you need to be able to talk a little bit more about that. And all of this just makes you more of an interesting person. It kind of develops you as, a, as an applicant and helps them remember you more. So the more details you can give them instead of just a generic answer, the better. So those are things that you definitely want to be able to ask. And then the last thing, uh, and you might want to do some research on this because all schools are different, but a lot of new interview strategies are being used. Some of these were starting to be used when I was interviewing and applying, um, but some haven't. So one is the behavioral interview style where they ask you questions that uh, are difficult to prepare for, but they want to know kind of who you are as a person. And so they'll ask you a specific scenario and then what would you do in this scenario? So I interviewed one place and they said, uh, you're the chief resident. Someone has to be on call for the weekend and it cannot be you. You have two residents to choose from. One is the maid of honor in a wedding and the other has already asked off to go present their research at a conference. What do you do? Who do you choose to be on call? So there's no right answer. They just want to see how you think through problems and kind of who you are as a person. 
you can Google this, and there's actually lots of really good examples of behavioral interview style questions. Um, a, a lot of these questions will be asking you to tell specific stories about yourself. So a lot of them will be, uh, tell me a time that you had a challenge or tell me about a time that there was a conflict and that you resolved it. Tell me about a time that you felt very proud. Uh, tell me about a time that you made a mistake. And so you can prepare for all of those. You can, you can think of little stories um, and you want to sh it, you want them to show you being a good someone of good character. So my, I had similar stories that would work for lots of different problems. So one was um, this would be like making a mistake and dealing with a conflict. I ran this nonprofit community eye clinic in medical school, and I, I started it. It was a free clinic for people in the community to come get an eye exam and get a free pair of glasses. And I had to find residents and staff ophthalmologists to staff the clinic every weekend because there has to be an actual MD there. And the people who worked it were medical students. And I had told the staff doctor who was going to be working it the wrong time to be there. I think I told her to be there at 10 and it was starting at 8. And so this was a huge mistake and I didn't realize this until like late at night until it was maybe – eight at night on Friday and the clinic was starting at 8 a.m. on Saturday and she didn't think it started until 10. So this was a problem and it was my mistake. And so I had to talk about what I did to fix it and what I did was I called everyone I knew. I called like 20 people trying to find this poor professor's email and phone number. I emailed her at a work email but it was Friday. I was afraid she wasn't going to check it and so I had to find her personal email. I ended up finding her home phone and I called her. I felt really bad about it. Um, but she was like super grateful that I called her and let her know. And um, so maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. Maybe that was the right thing to do. But it just shows who I am as a person that I wasn't going to be like, oh, oh, well, uh, you know, hope it works out. I was going to um, work tirelessly until I righted the wrong that I had created. And so so those are the kind of stories that you want to tell just about who you are as a person and kind of be prepared because if you think if you can only come up with a generic story, then um, it, that's not going to be good enough. They want something specific. And so again, you can Google uh, these behavioral interview style questions and there's all kinds of example questions that you can find online and then you can kind of write down, think of stories um, and one thing that I, I had a hard time coming up with stories because I kept thinking they had to be related to medicine or something I experienced in the hospital or something I experienced in school, but that's not necessarily the case. It can be a conflict that you experienced when you were a manager at an ice cream shop over the summer and you had to fire somebody or whatever. Um, so kind of think about your entire life when you're coming up with these stories and um, be prepared to answer questions like that. So that's uh, one thing. And then I think the, the, a big thing surrounding interviews is just being nervous. And you're going to be nervous. The people who are interviewing you are going to be nervous. Really, they already have your application. They already know your scores. They've already read your entire application. And so the interview is just to see who you are as a person. And you are probably an amazing person. And so you just, I know everybody's going to say just relax. But really, just you just want to be yourself. You don't want to try to be anyone else. Because that's going to come across in the interview that you're not being authentic. And so if you're funny, be funny. If you're shy, you can say, I'm really shy and so I'm, you know, working to speak more or whatever. You just want to be who you are and own who you are and they'll they'll appreciate getting to know you as a person. And what they're trying to do is is fit at least in residencies is fit personalities together that will work well together. Programs have different cultures of different personalities that function better together. Or in resident in medical school or dental school, they want to see if you have some of those character traits, you know, hardworking, perseverance, dedication, a passion for education and academics, all those kinds of things that are going to make you an exceptional student. And so you want to show your personality. You want to show how your personality makes you the kind of person who would be um, an attribute to their university or their institution. 
And you can say that. You can say, I think that I would be a great um, addition to this university because I am passionate about community service and I want to incorporate a free eye clinic into the medical school, which didn't exist before I was there. Or, and you can say, like, this is who I am and this is what I want to do and this is why I think that it would be a great fit for me here. Um, so being confident being relaxed, being um, secure in who you are as a person, and then just just be nice, you know? They're taking time out of their busy day to interview you and um, read through your application, read your personal statement, all kinds of things like that. And so, you know, smile. It's such a privilege to be interviewing anywhere. Be excited, be inquisitive, ask about the program, ask what kinds of things um, they wish they knew when they were in your shoes, engage them, make eye contact, shake their hand strongly, um, all those kinds of things, and you will be a fantastic interviewee. I hope this helps. Uh, if you guys, I'm sure you've all interviewed for things before, so I'd love to hear some of your interview tips or things you do to help with your nerves, to help kind of calm you down before you interview. I always kind of go to the bathroom and just take a few breaths and like have a quiet moment by myself. I would do that before tests and do that kind of before everything just to kind of like feel centered and um, just take a deep breath and relax. So I love your comments. I love hearing from you. Let me know your best interview tips and where you've interviewed, what, what kinds of things you've done. I'd love to hear all about it. And again, thank you all for your emails. Don't forget to check out my blog. Uh, and I'll talk to you later.